wasn't forbidden. There were no laws restricting visitation. Exploration, camping, even living on the ground was allowed. Just no building human structures. That was limited to restricted building zones to inoculate the cities against spread. The spread, it was called. Back before the megacities had started to turn upward, back when the sucked out vacuum of space had been a difficult, messy enterprise. The spread had threatened the megacities with extinction. And while they didn't believe it at first, turns out not believing in something and ignoring your 95% certainty, just cause you can't squeeze that last 5% out of your data, doesn't actually mean the unbelievable thing won't happen. It just means you'll be less prepared for it when it does. The cities had evolved to grow, like everything alive, to organize their cells and eat and compete to win the most awesomest super organism for their niche award, which wasn't an award like a high score or an achievement unlock, but the kind of prize that means you get to keep being alive. Oh and organizing and eating and competing and everything. Everything. Or at least individual everythings lose this epic game eventually. But fortunately, cities are not individuals and they do not have to play by boring individual rules. As long as they had their little symbiotes, cities seem to just keep chugging along. Not symbiotes like in the comic books, muscled up, long-tongued monsters that fed off the emotions of their hosts, but little animals. Apes, they called themselves, that lived inside all cities. Happily, helpfully, converting energy from the environment into materials that made the cities grow. That was the way of life, after all. To be a Russian nesting doll of itself. Even the composite physical bodies of highly developed animals like these apes depended on other creatures, bugs and beasts that lived inside the chasms of their bowels and ventured wagon wheeled and burdened with the specter of imminent pixelated dysentery across the great dry plains of their skin. The cities were just the newest thin veneer of life sustained by those onion skins of stochasticity. Their walls may have contained graphene instead of chitin or cellulose, but if viruses got to be alive, then so did cities. It had taken a long time for them to emerge from the molten urban chaos of their youth, but they were climbing now and they had no intention of turning back. Fuck yeah, dude. Hey! <laughs>